I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Danoon Institute of Biblical Research, Israel Returns. I'm standing here on the Sea of Galilee. I'm actually on what would be considered the eastern shore. Behind me, the western shore, the sun is beginning to go down. And of course, right across from me behind me is the Mount of Beatitudes. It's the uh, Capernaum is just to my left shoulder there on the uh, southern, excuse me, that would be the northern border of the, of the Galilee or the Kinneret as we call it in the Hebrew language. The Sea of Galilee, the very waters that Yeshua himself walked on. The story is recorded in a couple of the Gospels, but in Matthew's Gospel, we find out that right before Yeshua compelled his disciples to get into a boat and to go across to the other side. He had been feeding the, the multitudes. Jesus had compassion on the multitude that were there. And when he wanted to feed them, he said to, to his disciples, give them to eat. But yet they only had five loaves of bread and two fish. And he asked them to sit down. And there he fed the multitude. You know what's fascinating about all the stories that I read in the Gospels or in the Christian Bible, the New Testament, the Chodeshah, Barit Chodeshah, is that everything that Jesus did was with significance. There was a reason. There was another time when he talked about, he was talking to the Pharisees and Sadducees, and they said, we ate our fathers ate man in the wilderness with Moses. He said, I am that bread. When he fed the multitude, he was showing that he was the same God that sent bread out of heaven. He was the same God that fed the children of Israel in the wilderness journey. And here he was on the shore behind me. And he was feeding the multitudes there. He was showing that he was still that same God. But what really caught my attention is when he compelled his disciples to go on the ship and go to the other side. And then he went to a mountain apart alone to pray. In the Hebrew Gospel, excuse me, in the Hebrew Bible, in Genesis, Belashit, it states, the last part of that, See, God brooded over the face of the, of the waters. It was God himself before the world was ever brought into form and life was brought on the earth. God was walking on the water then. And here we have 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years after the creation had begun. He sends his disciples from the opposite shore to this shore. And they got about halfway and the sea become contrary. It become very boisterous. Today we have a fairly good wind and the waves are beating on the shore like it is maybe in the beaches in the United States and other places around the world. Small waves, nothing big, no storm today. But he walked on that water showing that he was the same God that had created the entire earth, the entire universe, and everything that was on it. That same God that brooded over the face of the deep was now brooding or walking across the very sea that he created originally doing the same works that he did in the beginning, he was once again doing on the earth that he created. He was showing his disciples a sign. He was showing them who he was. He was not just a man. He was the son of God. He was God in tabernacled in a human body. The Son of God declaring the world, making the world known unto himself. It was a sign to Israel that the very God that had created them was among them. How could we overlook such 
great beauty. And yet, in a place, if you've ever been here, the seashore is rocky. It's not sandy, beautiful sand and white sands like in Florida. But it's just, the beaches are filled with rocks. It's a very rough, rugged land. Anyway, I figured it would be a blessing for you to actually see, see and hear the very place, to hear the waves that beat against the shore where Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, walked on the water, the very Sea of Galilee. Baruch Hashem, I'm Stephen Bindanun, the Danun Institute of Biblical Research. Hag Sameach, for we are in the Jewish holidays, the, past, uh, the, the, the Shabbats, the Sabbaths, and we are about to see the very holiday of Sukkot to begin in just a couple of days. We love you from Israel. God bless you. Baruch Hashem. God bless all of you. Elohim Baruch. Kol Davao. Kol Ochem. All over the world. The Lord bless you all over the world. We love you. Veshgam Shalom. And Shalom. Peace be unto you. Amen.